How much food could you stuff in a shopping cart in 90 seconds? That was Jennifer Zartman's challenge inside the Maslin Bueller store. Her raffle ticket was picked for the grocery grab. So I want to get as much in there as I could. Um, yeah, it was, it's adrenaline, but fun. Jennifer collected $242 worth of food, but she never planned to keep any of it for herself. There's so much negativity out there and you can do something positive. She donated all of the pasta, cereal, canned veggies, and soup to the Perry Helping Perry Food Pantry. Her employer matched the dollar amount. I came here and I realized it might be my next door neighbor. It might be somebody three doors back. You don't, that's the thing about hunger is you don't put a sign on your front door that says we're hungry. Word of Jennifer's generosity started to spread around Perry Township. This started a, I call it a, a tsunami. A tsunami of giving. Dozens of new donors brought in things like baby food and diapers. You don't understand, these are $37 a packet. More unexpected contributions from local companies have rolled in, allowing the pantry to buy a bunch of food for its kids snack pack program. What she did is what I wish more people could see. And the director says all of this comes at a critical time. Many of the shelves were getting empty. It's coming at the perfect time because Thanksgiving is our largest handout. Jennifer also started a 30 for Thanksgiving campaign, challenging her friends on Facebook to either donate $30 to the pantry or buy $30 worth of food. That has generated another 720 bucks. Jennifer says her decision to donate her shopping spree was easy because her cupboards are full. She realizes the food she gathered in a minute and a half could feed families for several weeks. To know that the little things and a lot of people doing a little can make a gigantic difference. In Perry Township, Bob Jones, News 5.